So in this video, we're going to show you what to look for and how to test used solar panels. So stick around. All right, so when you come across some used solar panels that you're looking to buy, uh, I actually have three of them here, this one, this one, and one that's over here on the shipping pallet still. Um, first thing you want to look at is the uh, condition of the glass. Make sure it's not shattered or anything. Now, if it is shattered, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It just means that, um, you know, the, the seal is broken that's over the solar cells and it could introduce moisture rain you know to the solar cells themselves the connectors you know, the connections and uh, it may make a shorter lifespan but when you come across one just go ahead and look over all the connections make sure they're good make sure there's no corrosion or anything and this one here is good this one over here is an example of one that's not necessarily in the best condition. The epoxy that holds the uh, panel together. Hopefully you can see that. It's starting to crack. And you see there's a little bit of corrosion on these connections. But it's starting to crack all the way around every single one of these. You know, this doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's just this one's probably going to have a, a shorter lifespan than the other two because of all these cracks. And the second thing to look for in the back side of this first panel, uh, this is kind of dirty, but um, look at all the, uh, the seal here, the caulking. Make sure that it's not peeling off or anything. If it is, you can just clean it, apply a new layer of caulk. And then um, just make sure it's nice and dry. And go ahead and put it to use. And now we'll move forward onto testing. Make sure they're still good. All right, so when you go about testing them, you need to look at the, uh, I don't know, that way you can see that, there we go. And look at the specification sticker on it. Um, you can't really test the actual wattage just by it sitting here, but you can do the open circuit voltage and you can do the short circuit current rating with um, just a simple multimeter and that's what we're going to do is test those two things uh, so I just have a regular uh, multimeter it's an older one you know. but it's good enough to test these out you just connect one to the negative side, the other one to the positive. And we're just looking at voltage right now. We're sitting at 34.6. Um, the maximum voltage is 37. And I'm in front of the solar panel here a little bit, so that's that's acceptable number. And then go from there. Go to the 10 amp position, then you have to switch that to the other plug there so you can actually read it without blowing up your multimeter. And do the same thing there. Connect the positive, and 8.3 is the uh, amperage output. This is a short circuit amperage. And I'll take a quick look here. All right, so it's 8.85 is short circuit. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> Do they have to be straight? No. And now I've already checked this panel and that panel. Um, they're both um, 
within one volt of the the maximum or within a, a couple volts of the maximum 35 and about 35 uh, this one puts out seven amps and that one's six and a half and the six and a half one is the one that's has the cracking in it and a little bit of the uh the corrosion around the connectors so that's all acceptable so that's pretty much it it's all you really need to do to figure out if they're good panels or not um price wise um, i paid about uh, 50 cents a watt for these guys which is decent as long as they all work if it was um, if the glass itself was shattered then you'd probably pay less you know i would pay less anyways but anyways there you have it if you like this video and want to see more go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you got any value out of it and hit be sure to hit the notifications icon so you don't miss another video and until next time keep kicking up dust